Hello children. In this video, we are going to learn how to find square root of a number using division method. So let's revise what is a square root. A square root of any given number is nothing but an inverse of square operation. That is, say square root of 196 is nothing but square root of 14 square the square and square root gets cancelled so we are left with 14 so square root of 196 is 14 or in other words 14 square is 196 or square root of 196 is 14 so now let's try to find out square root of any given number a big number using the division method so let's say we want to find square root of 1369 that is 1369 so how we are going to do it? Write 1369. Just do the division sign here. We are, going to, we are going to start from one's place and add a bar pairing the numbers. So these two become, we put a small bar here, start from one's place. So 69 is one and one three is another pair. So we put blank lines, this horizontal lines here and then we are going to find a number here whose square is closest to this number. So let's say 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9, 4 square is 16 but 4 square 16 is more than this number so the closest is 3 square so 3 into 3 is 9 which is the closest to this number so maximum square the number whose square is closest to this so we got 3 square is 9 because 4 square was becoming 16 more than this number this pair so we got 3 square is 9 so do we do 13 minus 9 we are left with 4 and now we take the another pair down so the 6 9 comes down so it becomes 4 6 9 and we take this 3 and we double it 3 into 2 is 6 now we do this operation again now our goal is to find a number here such that this number and this number is same so say 61 into 1 will be 61 we try to find the closest number to this 62 into 2 is going to be 124 63 into 3 is going to be 189 and so forth so once we reach 67 into 7 we are going to get closest number as 469 itself so 67 7 in 7 is we need to ensure whatever number we are guessing here we write is here also 67 into 7 is 469 so we came here which is the closest number and we do 469 minus 469 is going to be 0 so remainder is 0 which really means we have arrived at the square root of this 1369 as 37 so square root of 1369 is going to be 37 and we can cross check using multiplication also that is we can do the inverse operation that is 37 square and we should get 1369 you can do it in your copy and you can 37 into 37 using the normal multiplication method and you are going to get 1369 which really means the square root of 1369 is 37 which is a correct answer let's take another example say we need to find square root of 676 that is 676 so again using the division method we are going to write 676 like this we'll start from the ones place and pair them so this we write the division sign here we pair 76 become one pair here there is only one number but that's fine we are going to still add it into this line so 76 is 1 6 here and just like any other division operation we start from this direction so let's find out a number whose square is closest to it so 1 square is 1 2 square is 4 3 square is 9 so we are only considering this number so 2 square is closest 
2 square is 4 because 3 square is 9 which is becoming more than this number so 2 square is 4 we write 4 here 6 minus 4 is 2 then we take the next thing down just like any division operation and then we take this number and double it so 2 into 2 became 4 and now we again try to guess any number here such that the same number here and this that multiplication is closest to this so say we do 41 into 1 is 41 42 into 2 is 84 that way we keep doing it till we come to the closest number here so we get 46 into 6 for 6 and 6 should be same 46 into 6 is 276 we got it which is closest to this number we subtract and finally we get 0 as the remainder which means this is the square root of this number that is the square root of 676 is 26 so that's all in this video children bye bye